I don't really want to talk about minimum wages. What I really want to talk about is maximum wages and the opportunity for wage growth. The problem that we have, and we talked about this before, is we've got 2.6% unemployment, but that masks over the fact that we've got th we rank 39th in terms of GDP growth and 49th in terms of productivity growth. Productivity growth is where salary and wage increases come from. So rather than artificially try to stimulate and, and raise the minimum wage, what we need to do is focus on productivity growth because that will raise the wages for everyone involved. And we also have to recognize that when you raise the minimum wage, you create a tax on older people who are on fixed income by raising the price of everything. They don't get a raise in their fixed incomes, but yet they have to pair, bear the burden of that. I think I would say that more appropriately, the business community knows what they need to pay to attract good workers. And I've certainly talked to enough business leaders who tell me they're not paying minimum wage because they have to be competitive to get those good workers. So I think the government needs to stay out of uh, the business community's business. I think that is something that every employer understands that uh, if they have to find employees that they have to raise it. That's up to them and I leave the employment, uh, the employers, the understanding of what they need to hire employees. Well, I can tell you, no one understands the minimum wage issue like I do. I have 800 employees up at Waterville Valley. Very few are on minimum wage, a very, very small percentage. But when you look at the trickle-up effects of how adjusting a minimum wage impacts a business, I can tell you almost to the penny what it would, it would mean to us. We don't have a state minimum wage, um, and we shouldn't have a state minimum wage. We defer to the federal minimum wage. I've always said if the federal government from time to time needs to adjust it for inflation, so be it. But the impacts that the drastic minimum wage increases that you hear Democrats talk about, the 10 and 12 and $15 an hour, that would be devastating to businesses. Devastating. Again, here's an issue where, again, I am a stakeholder. I live and breathe this potential threat to my business every single day. And I understand the, the implications and the impacts it would have across the entire state and region.